Hi, and welcome to Talk Straight Bible. I'm your host, Jeremiah Zantanetti, and on today's Bible Nugget segment, we're going to be looking at the Bible. I love the Bible. It's so rich. But let's look at a particular book in the Bible. Let's look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 through 10. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as you have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Wow, what a juicy steak this morning if you like steak and eggs well you know the whole thing about being rooted in christ is not talking about salvation you see verse 6 already tells us that we're saved as you have received therefore christ jesus the lord see that's already established i became a christian i became one of the way of christ when i accepted jesus but something had to take place Paul here, who was a Pharisee of Pharisees, he was a teacher of teachers, a doctor of the law, he gives us instruction as Christians how we should grow. Being rooted is all about growth in our salvation. Now, what's interesting is that Paul was a man who studied the law. He was a man who was well studied. And yet, he was without Christ until that wonderful transformation took place on the road of Damascus or to Damascus we know that Jesus appeared to him he accepted Christ Jesus as his Lord and Savior and then something took place God had to separate him and take him to the side if we could say that and begin to work on Paul what did the Lord work on Paul concerning his salvation well Paul already knew the Old Testament scriptures and so what the Holy Spirit did was open up to Paul the revelation of Jesus Christ in all of those scriptures. You see, Paul was rooted already in the Jewish faith. He was already a man established as a great teacher. But of Jesus Christ, he knew nothing until Jesus took him and opened up his mind. I love that verse of scripture in Luke where it says in chapter 24, verse 44 and 45, you can read it for yourself, uh, on, the, on the road to Damascus, uh, excuse me, on the road to, in, on the road of Emmaus, these two disciples encountered Jesus, but at the end of it, one of them says, did not our heart burn as he opened up the scriptures to us? And the Bible says there that he opened up their minds to understand the scriptures. That's exactly what happened to Paul. Paul opened up, God, excuse me, Jesus opened up Paul's mind so that he can understand the Old Testament scriptures in a new way. He saw Jesus in every page of the Old Testament, in every illustration, in every type, in every shadow. And when God opened up his mind, then he released Paul publicly to preach, and believe me, he was unstoppable. He became one of the greatest apostles that ever lived. As a matter of fact, so much so, apart from the Gospels, apart from uh, James and John and Peter and Jude, he wrote most of the books of the New Testament. So figure that one out. So he says to be rooted and built up. So we already received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We're saved. But to be rooted, as a matter of fact, someone, a commentator wrote this, and I, I really enjoy what he said. So I'm going to read this to you. And uh, it says, As a tree strikes its roots deep in the earth, so our faith should strike deep into the doctrine respecting the Savior. Established in the faith means to be founded, to be ministers of the Word of God. Now think about this. To be rooted is talking about the doctrines of Christ, the doctrines of the Bible. And you may say, you know, I don't really need to know much doctrine. Well, if you quote scripture, you're already quoting doctrine. Someone said, do I really need to know about this theology thing? 
Well, the fact is that theology simply means the study of God. So where, as Christians, do we not need the study of God? So you see, the Word of God is doctrines properly rooted in us, builds us up to become established, to become strong. Now he says, he gives us a warning, beware of that any man spoil you. That means corrupt you through philosophy and corrupt ideas and deceitful ideas after the tradition of men. I cannot tell you the hundreds of times that I've seen churches, pastors, ministers, people move outside of the word of God to honor their own tradition. And they will tell you, well, I know what the Bible says, but this is the way we do it. Folks, let me tell you something. If tradition gets in the way of the word of God, don't follow the tradition. Follow the faith of the word because that's what's going to build you up, not the tradition of men. Now, I've been... I've been, you know, for myself, I've, I've encountered these things. So I refuse to do things that I don't see in the scriptures. Now, if it's a tradition where, you know, it doesn't really make, you know, do any harm, I may, you know, participate in it. But for the most part, don't do things that is going to convict you of not following the word of God. Beware of people when their philosophies and their vain ideas nullifies the word of God. Jesus told the Pharisees and the leaders of, of, of his day, he said that, you know, because of the sake of your tradition or for the sake of your tradition, you nullify the word of God, the power of God. Then he says this, not after the tradition of men or after the rudiments of the world. Watch this now. What is rudiments? You know something, as a musician, I learned something. There are 26 rudiments when you learn how to play drums. You ever seen those, those drummers, they have a snare and they play? Well, it's not just playing. They learn rudiments because when you learn these rudiments, all the rudiments teach you what is called the syncopation of rhythm. That means that you can play anything when you learn these 26 rudiments. So if you want to be a good drummer, practice your rudiments. Well, Paul here talks about the rudiments of the faith in the doctrines of Christ. There are many doctrines of Christ, and we should learn them. Do you know there's a doctrine of election? Do you know there's a doctrine of sanctification? The doctrine of angels? The doctrine of sin? The doctrine of God, the Godhead? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? You know, there's a lot of doctrines in the Bible, and if you took your time and begin to study one by one, you will become rooted and established in the knowledge of God. And you know what happens? You're not easily moved. You become strong, and whatever comes against you, you're able to stand up against it. Now understand that all of these traditions and these rudiments of the world do not come from Christ. And so after Christ, we must be rooted. Now it says, for in him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Think about this. The Bible tells us in John chapter 1, verse 14, and the word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. God was among us in the form of Jesus Christ. And the apostles, you know, uh, give testimony to this, that they saw him with their eyes. They beheld him. They touched him with his hand, with their hands. And they touched the word of life. They knew that. And so here, as we see that all the fullness of the Godhead was in the man Jesus Christ. That is the doctrine that we should teach there are six basic doctrines that we should teach when it comes to the Word of God, and that is this. God was manifested in the flesh. He was justified in the Spirit. He was seen of angels. He was preached among the Gentiles. He was believed on in the world, and he was taken up to glory. That's what, that's what Paul tells Timothy. Six basic things that you should know as Christians when you're preaching the gospel or you're sharing the gospel. Tell them about how God was manifested. Tell them how he was justified in the Spirit when the Spirit told John, This is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. Tell them that he was seen of angels because he is before all things. Tell them that he was preached on in the world when he was here. He preached and many preached after him. And that they were received in the world by many. And then he was taken up to glory. 
You see, these six basic things are something that we can do as Christians. I, that's why I am so, I am so, uh, you want to call it hung up, whatever you want to call it, on doctrine, on the Bible. Because I want to know what the Bible says about Christ, the church, people. I mean, you name it. I want to know it because the Bible is full, full of information. And for the last 35 years, I have, I have put myself in the Word of God. And I thank God that today, by His grace, I stand rooted and built up in the faith. And I'm not going to be moved. I don't care what comes my way. Put a gun to my head. I will not deny Christ. He is the one that I love. He is the one that I serve. And he is the one that I know about. And I, I implore you today to know him because he is the fullness of God in bodily form. So today, the challenge is this. You're saved. Praise God. But be rooted. Be unmovable. Abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain, God is going to reward you for what you do here, and He's going to bless you. The Bible tells us He has given us every spiritual blessing in heaven. It is yours, but you can attain it by knowing what God thinks, how He thinks, what He says, and what He expects of us as Christians. Have a wonderful, spirit-filled, rooted, built-up, not-deceived day. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen.